hey what's up my people welcome back to this youtube channel with care software youtube channel so if you're new just subscribe and hit that notification bell to get all our latest uploaded video now in this tutorial i'm going to talk about a new api that has been brought up by safaricom uh, it's recent it has been added and i've not included it in my tutorial so i uh, will try to explain it and see how it can be applied for so this api is called b2b express checkout so if you're interested in knowing this so this is the place to know about the b2b express checkout so before we proceed i would like to introduce uh ums academy this is an academy that i'll be teaching my course in my premium course which i'll be creating premium which will be explaining um more on what i teach on youtube so if you're new just come up and sign up and if you're interested in our live online class where we'll be including google meeting so you can pay i can explain further on mpesa sdk push qr code with php then here mpesa c to e with php then mpesa b to c with php so go in love and imp implementing so you can check the dates which are there so if you are interested in this you can just come and purchase uh, and book a ticket on this website academy.mskiasoftware.com i will include the link in the description so let's proceed to today's uh, topic which is the b2b express checkout so you can see from this b2b express checkout it uh what it enables you to do we can see in the description here this api enables merchants to initiate ussd push to a till to their fellow merchants to pay their own till to their vendor so basically what it means here is that if you have a till and another merchant has a till you can initiate something like a ussd push that looks like same like um uh, it looks the same like SDK push and then when you enter your operator ID and operator pin you can send money from your till to another merchant till so this is the documentation here you can see they have explained it on how uh, on how it can it, it works so you can come and read more information about here and what I've liked about this API is that they have shown how the physical uh, how it will work physically so you can see from here when you initiate the push or when you run the code it will say it will state that uh, you are about to send 70 shilling to a vendor to pay with reference uh, that reference is a random generated so that you can identify transaction then when you enter the operator id and then click send then you will enter the operator pin for your till then after that you will confirm by state, uh, entering yes and after that you will already move funds from your till to the merchant that you want to pay to so from this uh, these are the request parameters for and then uh, first the request url for this api is this then the request body it will include primary shortcode and then receive a shortcode so you can see the description that the primary shortcode this is the debt party the merchant organization that is sending the money so this is where you enter the till that is or that wants to send money then which will receive you enter the receiver short code then the amount you want to pay then the reference of the payment you can set callback so that you can get that after payment then you can enter here a random id then the vendor name so you can write the name of the till then you can send so uh, this is the response request that you will get if it is successful so from the code that we had uh, done in the previous course of mpesa data jpi here i have already done for you the b2b express so we are going to include what is required uh, so that you can send so here i've already put what is the request body then i've used call to call then the access token so I will include the access token which is this so remember that you always need an access token in order to do any mpesa api so what i'm going to come i'm going to come to is something like this dynamic qr code then i'm going to copy this then come to this mpesa express then include include the access token because it will we will access this variable from this file which is access token so that we can carry then we need to include the uh, primary shortcode and the receiver shortcode so in order to get this don't come and uh, enter this the one that they have written here 
you can see here and here so what i'm going to do i'm going to simulate this uh, api so that i can get what the enter while what, what the primary shortcode and the receiver shortcode which is also here but i can just come and copy here then i'm going to come here then paste it there uh, then i'm going to copy this receiver shortcode so let's wait then i'll copy this receiver shortcode from here so the receiver shortcode then i will enter here the receiver shortcode so this is what will uh this is this is the primary shortcode where i'm moving money from then this is what the shortcode that will receive the money after sending it so in order to get a successful response we need to check so that we can know if we have the successful response so here you can see here so this getting this uh, response body which means that we have a successful response so let me come here and open localhost then write mpesa the right api so this is for access token this is for access token so here the access token here uh yeah and then i will do this b2b express checkout so when i reload uh, we will wait for it to do the request then we will get the response body by echoing here echoing here the response here so that we can see so let's wait it to load then we will see the request body so here is the request body that we will get now there is the response that we'll get after doing it so you can see here it's ussd is successful then the header will be request id then this with the time timestamp there and the operator name which is here then organization version operation version is that and that will mark the end of our express checkout so if you want to apply it in production i will show you also in my live course i will show you how you can put it to production and how you can apply and the use cases so if you just want a good class and well explained this is the course for you so see you in the next video